Hey, y'all, Eric here. And we have to talk about this utter buffoonery that is this fake outrage over Assassin's Creed Shadows. And when I say fake outrage, it's like, is this really the thing we should be angry about right now? Is this the biggest problem in gaming at the moment, a black samurai? Is this what we're supposed to be mad about? Not all of the unethical shit that's actually going on. Not all of the problems with like how the gaming space has become anti-consumer. Like those kinds of things. We're just not even going to talk about that. Because that's too real. That's a real issue. That could We could make some real change in that. We're going to talk about this, a black samurai, in a game that already is full of fictional elements and an IP that's already full of fictional elements. We're going to see, like, we're going to say that this needs to be beholden to historical accuracy, 100%, or we can't have it. How do we get, like, are you kidding me? So Assassin's Creed, I haven't played every single game, but I remember there was like a game with mythology in it, which isn't real. Is every single character you interact with a real person? Do we know the dialogue that was said during those times and those periods? Like the idea that this character cannot exist because it's not 100% accurate is really sus to me. It's really sus. And it doesn't even matter if they were based on a real person. You're telling me all the movies that get made in Hollywood, like if it's based on Napoleon or whoever it might be, that we know everything that that person said, that every line of dialogue in those movies is based on something that was actually said by that person? Is that what we're saying now? Conversations with different people. We know that? We have all that information? No. Because we never, when we make these things, we never have 100% accuracy on every single thing that happened. Every single artistic take on a piece of history becomes some adaptation of that actual period in time of those people. The only stuff we can look at and go, this was history is the stuff that is documented in books. And even then, if you're not doing a documentary, you have the ability to change the stories to fit whatever world you're existing in. We're playing these characters. They're not even themselves. We are physically holding the controller and playing them and controlling these characters. But somehow a black samurai is a problem. And then we go to links of like saying, oh, he would be totally noticeable in Japan. And we're arguing about him totally overlooking the fact that we have a Japanese woman in, in the front of this picture, which I couldn't find anything really on her because nobody's talking about that. Everybody seems to be mad about a black samurai. We, I mean, we do realize there's other issues in the gaming space right now. Let's talk about issues in this game that are real something that is a real problem. Assassin's Creed Shadows has day one missions only available through season pass or by pre-ordering. Nobody's talking about that. That's not a problem. So if you actually want to play the game, they're forcing you to, in order to get missions, you have to pre-order or pay for the season pass. That is a running trend we're seeing in gaming right now. This should be addressed. That should be a problem. But no, Black Samurai. Let's let's be mad about that. Let's let's be angry about that and not really be angry about the stuff that is materially harming the gaming community. Because DEI and Sweet Baby Inc. and, and all of it, like this is the problem, not the anti-consumer shit that the companies are doing, not them telling us that we don't own the games that we're paying for. None of that is an issue. We would rather focus on a black person in a game. It's giving a certain thing. I'm not going to say in every instance, but it is giving a certain thing. I took a look back. I, I went online and I was like, let me see if there's anything I can find that has happened in Assassin's Creed that I'm forgetting that wasn't historically accurate, since we're being so virtuous about history. So we had Italy's House of Borgia family being Templar assassins, um, killing antagonist. Napoleon uh, get, trying to get his hands on the Apple of Eden. Aspasia, love of per Pericles during the leadership of Athens, being the leader of the cult of Cosmos. Uh, Alfred, the great of Wessex, being uh, the grand magister in the very order of ancients. Like, there's a there's a bunch of them here I'm, I'm seeing. Games that I didn't even have a chance to play. That's why I wanted to go back and look. So it's already been proven that Assassin's Creed breaks history quite often in their storytelling. And it's no surprise to me because these are video games. They're not documentaries. 
Also, the fact that some people seem to misunderstand that a retainer could be a samurai in the service of someone. Took me one second on Google to look that up and go, what is a retainer samurai? Oh, it's a samurai that, that works for someone. Okay, got it. So it is a samurai. People are going to have issues with things. They just are. But the outrage over this is so overblown because we've reached a point where we let other people tell us if we're allowed to have fun with something or if we're not. When I'm nostalgic, I think back to when I was a kid. I don't think about like, oh, the era in terms of like what was happening around me. I think about how I felt about stuff. And back then, if you loved something, if you loved a game, you loved a movie, you loved a TV show, you just loved it. And if you and your friends argued about it, you just went your separate ways. And it was it was a point of contention that wasn't taken too seriously. Now there's this peer pressure within certain communities where if you like something that I don't like, you can't be part of the club anymore and we can't speak. We're not going to talk. We're just going to make fun of you and you're going to be bullied until you actually agree with me. And then that starts the cycle of where we are now with a lot of these communities online where people feel a sense of belonging within a community because they may agree with one take that someone had. And then all of a sudden they have to agree with every take that person has because they are caught up in this cycle of hate. And it's also weird to me because we were still talking about Stellar Blade, I thought, about censorship. I thought that was the thing that we were fighting hard against, that we, we wanted an answer. We demanded them to come in and make change and, and fix all that, right? That was the issue we were dealing with. And now we've moved beyond that to the next thing to be mad about without any resolution to the other thing we were upset with. And this has been one of my big issues with this shit to begin with is where's the resolution? Where is it? Where is it where these people complain about something? They introduce a problem but then never provide a solution. What is the solution? Did we ever find out what we were doing with Stellar Blade? Or did we just move on to this one? Because that wasn't getting clicks anymore on YouTube. No one was complaining about that anymore. It's almost like it wasn't really a big deal to begin with. But we moved on beyond that. And there was something in that conversation that I think was quite interesting was the concept of censorship. I thought, you know what, even if I uh, disagree on whether or not it was censorship, at least it was bringing up a conversation that could lead to some sort of interesting uh, thoughts on the industry as a whole. This isn't. You're asking for historical accuracy on a game series that has never been 100% historically accurate. You're also overlooking the other lead of the game, who's a Japanese woman, to complain about the man in the game, I even saw someone on social media complaining that it was a black samurai that kills people and that we should not be standing a, a, a black character murdering people as if not every game in Assassin's Creed, Assassin, it's in the title, every protagonist kills people, all of them. But we didn't have an issue when it was anybody but the black samurai. That was an interesting take as well. This whole thing is wild to me. Um, Ubisoft, all of these companies are doing a lot of unethical stuff, consumer-wise, affecting our wallets, causing material damage to the products that we are getting from them. Issues with like day one passes, pre-orders, locking things behind paywalls, doing all kinds of stuff, always online gaming, things like that. We're never going to own our games again. All of these are things that are a real problem. But y'all want to focus on a black samurai. Now, I'm not going to say what that feels like to me because y'all are always like, Eric, you always say that. You always say, I'm not going to say that, but I just want you to think about this for a second. Why is this one samurai in a world full of fictional stuff being held to a historical standard higher than any other character in this franchise already, including side characters, supporting characters? Why is that? You need to do some self-reflecting. Why is that the problem? Why is that the issue? And why is it that this is more important than unethical business going on in the gaming space? Why is this a bigger problem than that? Stop for a second, pull yourself out of that bubble and think about it. Why is that? Get back to me on that one.